I would rather deal with people than parcel force. I can think of nothing more boring than wrapping up a large vase and posting it. It would be far too stressful. I was stationed at the Citadel on the Hoe and during my coffee breaks I used to go down to see my brother-in-law, who was an antique dealer, a proper antique dealer, and I used to play chess and drink coffee with him all day long, because in those days the army didn't have anything to do. It was worth bothering about than playing cricket or rugby and chess. So I, when I was invalided out of the services, I didn't know what I was going to do. So Robert said, have an antique shop, then we can carry on playing chess. Anybody who collects for a long time eventually refines their taste and they move on to other things. If you collect Chinese porcelain, um, you will eventually finish with just three or four or even one piece that you really like. And I'm a bit like that. I mean, at the moment I've probably got a couple of hundred pieces of Chinese porcelain but I'm desperately trying to sort of whittle it down to the last two or three. The Chinese have great taste and there is a lot that they don't want. Um, a lot of the 18th century export pieces that came to us for the wealthy to use a table um, are not desirable for the Chinese. Um, so they are buying anything which is a work of art. The only thing I get excited about now are good early etchings and engravings. But luckily they've almost disappeared. I mean I used to be able to buy good Rembrandt etchings for up to £100. Um, we'd now be looking at for some of the more desirable etchings, a um, hundred thousand. And um, so I still look for these, but sadly they've gone. I'm here because my circumstances changed at home. I needed something to do uh, to get me out of the house. Um, I, in the old days, I'd have got involved with running a sports team or something like that. I don't feel I have the energy for that anymore, but I do have enough energy to run a small shop. Mm -hmm.